So we're in Barcelona for Mobile World Congress 2017. We're here in the Ericsson village. I'm with uh, Boya Akhom, he's the new CEO of Ericsson. Boya, very good to meet you. Thanks good for to meet joining you. us today. Thanks for coming. So you gave your inaugural <laughs> presentation to the Mobile World Congress throngs of analysts and media today. What were the key messages that you were looking to, to get across to everybody that was well, here today? Thank you, it's great to have you here. Well, it's, I'm a rookie, so this is my first time at the Mobile World Congress, as you said. So it's, uh, and I'm five weeks into my, to the job. Yeah. So it's always- um, Baptism of fire. Uh, that you can say, <laughs> right? Uh, but it's exciting, it's exciting to be here. And it's exciting to showcase our capabilities. And, and I think the key message uh, we had today was actually we're starting to see 5G gaining momentum. It's still in, in its early phases and infancy, but so. it's actually starting to happening. And it will have implications on business models, the way companies and industries are shaped in the future. Yeah. And that was the key message. Okay. Uh, another key, very notable thing here this morning, as well as talking about 5G, you had some uh, guest speakers here with you today who are customers and partners. Um, so T-Mobile is a customer, yeah. but very important building ecosystem of, of partners, companies you can develop with, and Scania yeah. was a great example of that this yeah. morning. Yeah. Just tell us very briefly about that relationship with Scania and what it's bringing in terms of business models. No, and, and uh, it's as you say, it's interesting. The, uh, the collaboration with Scania started as a, call it a research collaboration at the Swedish University where the two companies met. I actually happened to be the chairman of the board of right. that university at the time, There's right? There's a link. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but we were bringing companies together, right. and they started to say, what can we do with connectivity? And, and all of a sudden, it started to become a, a much deeper collaboration. Uh, and we have even put a 5G radio together with Scania so they can, can test it out. But it allows them to put sensors in the truck allows them to see utilization of the truck, so to optimize the logistics chain, uh -huh. but it also allows the uh, it Scania to know when do you need maintenance, so you can be predictive maintenance on the truck and making therefore lower cost for their customers. Right. And those type of collaborations, I think, will be more important in the 5G world than we've ever seen before. Right. And I guess for Ericsson, you're looking at this as being a long-term relationship, something that can deliver business benefits to, to Ericsson as well as to Scania and its customers. Is this one of the main things you're going to look to do as the new CEO of Ericsson to build these broader relationships that mm. isn't just about selling technology, but having that long relationship that provides ongoing business? And I, I, think, I think it's at the end of the day, you, we exist as a business to make our customers successful. And we think in the new world, it will be much more of a building an ecosystem of different partners, of different business models, and we have to adopt to that. Uh, and that's going to be our challenge, of course. And then you mentioned this morning about having to, needing to make decisions about where to invest for the future of Ericsson. So obviously Ericsson is well known in mobile networks and infrastructure, and that's clearly with 5G, the evolution to 5G is going to be a big area of investment. Are there new areas where you think Ericsson needs to go that maybe it hasn't been a traditional player or leader? Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're, we're still a few weeks into our own work, so yeah, okay. give us a little bit more <laughs> yeah. time, so bear with us a, a little bit longer. Okay. But, but uh, there are clearly going to be areas where we need to invest more in order to, to stay relevant. Uh, and and I, I think we may need to invest in different areas as well than we have in the past. Again, we are trying to build an ecosystem for our partners, right. uh, and that's going to create the value for the industry. Okay. So, so we will need to change. We can't just sell a radio or a service offering. We are going to see that to be very different in the future. Okay, so look, look forward to the evolution yeah. of Ericsson as the industry evolves. and. Look forward to catching up again next year to find out how things have worked out during 2017. Great to Thank have you here. Thank you for taking time today for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to meet you. Thank you.